In this video, I will show you how to create this Formula One car wheel transition effect. Someone sent this to me on Instagram and I thought I had to recreate this. And if you want to use the same assets that I'm using in this video, you can download them in the Discord. And also don't forget to check out my masterclass. In this, I have live Q and A's, all the project files of all the tutorials, and of course, more in-depth lessons. Now let's just jump into it. So we got After Effects open and I have two files imported, which you can download in the assets, shot one and shot two. So we drag the shot one just to the new composition icon. So we make sure that the composition is exactly the same as our footage. And here we have our first shot, as you can see, walking up to me and then tapping me on the shoulder. I turn around, the camera points to the camera and then we basically want the transition to happen. So we now get our second shot and we just drop this on top of the shot one. Make sure the audio is off and then we're just gonna align this. So we're gonna just move this over and go to the first frame. And that's actually one frame after the first frame is black. So it's the second frame. And there you can see the car, extra points for the person that can guess which car this is. And then of course, we're gonna basically cut out the shape. And then of course we're gonna cut out the wheel and we do this by using the standard ellipse mask so we can just use the ellipse tool and you do this by holding your mouse on the square or the rectangle tool so here you have the ellipse tool and then we're gonna duplicate our footage first by pressing command d or control d on windows and then we're just gonna create our shape and then as you can see you get this circle if you hold shift it will basically keep its proportions and if you hold the space bar you can even move it around so this is a way to basically make sure to align it. You can, however, always align it after. And some wheels, although you think they're round, don't look round. So for example, this one, I think it's even better to not use the aspect ratio. And just move it around a bit. Let's see if we can get it to align. I would say something like this would work. So we're gonna right click now and we're gonna make sure that this is freeze framed. So go to time and then freeze frame. And this is important because otherwise the footage will move. We don't want that. We want it to be freeze framed. And now we're gonna move the anchor point because we're gonna animate it. Basically what this does, it will change where it scales or rotates from. So let's say we don't change the anchor point. If you now rotate it, as you can see, it will rotate around the anchor point and the anchor point is not set right so we do that by changing the anchor point by using the pen behind anchor tool and basically here we can now move this anchor point we can or set it to the center of the wheel or when you hold command or control on windows it will automatically align the mask depending on your footage it depends a bit what works better i'm just gonna see if we can put it somewhat in the middle and let's rotate it and let's see what this looks like this should work maybe i'm gonna even try and align it in the center of the wheel. Of course, we can also change our quality to full to basically make sure that this is really centered and let's rotate it now, it already looks better. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because the animation will go really quick and you can use this effect on something else too. So for example, you can have your iPhone in a second shot and make it move into the screen. It's basically the same effect. Here we're gonna use the wheel, but but also we're gonna animate the car. And that's what we're gonna do after. Basically what I'm gonna do now is mask the car. And I do that by just duplicating this shot and also naming this wheel. You do this by pressing enter on the layer. Let's name this car. And now we're gonna just mask the car by using the pen tool. And this doesn't have to be perfect because again, it will be shown quite quickly. I just make sure that you don't put your pen tool on our circle because then it will add a mask or change the mask that we previously made. Now you just create a new one by not clicking on the circle. So now we can just do this real quick. And then when you're almost at the circle, you can just go over this and actually just roughly go around this like this. Uh, this doesn't have to be perfect and I will show you in a moment why. Uh, basically we now have our car and we have the circle. I'm gonna turn the wheels off for now and I'm gonna turn our shot to off too. As you can see, we now have the car and the wheel and that's really funny, but what we want to do is basically make sure that in the car, we only see the car. So we go into our masks by just opening this up or pressing M on your keyboard. And then I'm gonna change the first mask to subtract. 
Now it will go a bit weird and that's because the order of the masks is not right. We need to now drag this under our uh, basically our car mask and as you can see now basically you create a mask first of the car and then this will be subtracted and that's our circle and now we have our car then we can turn our wheel back on then we have our wheel and then we have our basically our back layer and that's the shot too i'm gonna turn the shot two off and now let's animate this so we do this by first making sure that these layers are basically starting a bit earlier. So dragging this out would be sufficient. And then make sure that one frame before our shot two happens, it is cut off. And you do this by holding Alt and then pressing bracket to the right. Or what you can just do is basically move this over, then cut it off. And basically what happens now is after this, we're gonna turn this shot on. We will have our car and then it will basically cut to this second shot and it will move and show this really cool crazy crane now what i also see is that our composition is not long enough i'm gonna go to composition composition settings and i'm just gonna make it a bit longer here you see the duration i'm just gonna make it maybe 15 seconds and we can always speed ramp our second shot make it a bit more quick or maybe cut off our first shot but i like this this is quite cool now we're gonna first animate the wheel and then the car. So I'm just gonna turn the car off for now. And we need to make sure that this aligns with our first shot. And there's two ways to do this, or we change the shot one, or we change the shot two. So basically, or you scale your first shot and try to align that with the car. I think this could work, but it is quite zoomed in. We can of course animate it, but I don't think that's gonna look good. I'm just gonna see if it works better with our second shot. And there's always a bit experimenting and see what works. So what we can do now is basically make sure that the car and the wheel is linked to our second shot. So when we change anything on our second shot, it will also be changed in the others. Now it can go to the part where we need to align it and then just select your shot i'm gonna move this over by pressing p for position and then just adjusting these values and see what this looks like okay that's step one now i'm gonna move my timeline over and let's see yeah we do miss quite a lot at the bottom so i do have to scale it up now press s for scale and then we need to scale it up i think this could work actually i think it's even better than the other one also drop a comment of what you think about my shoes not only my shoes also my girlfriend's shoes they're also really pretty now let's animate the car wheel because that's what's gonna bring this effect to life. So the best way to do this is by pressing S for scale, setting a keyframe, and I'm just gonna zoom in a bit. I'm gonna drag this out and I'm gonna set this to zero. And we might have to adjust the, like, the keyframes a bit later on, maybe even the alignment, because now it doesn't really scale from like the center of the lens. And to adjust that again, just go into position of your second shot and just move it a bit. Then maybe what I'm even gonna do is make it bounce. And we do that by basically making it a bit bigger than our last keyframe. So we can just move this out a bit. We can even, by the way, also make it a bit longer, make it start earlier, selecting all the keyframes, right click, and then easy ease. And then of course, enabling motion blur. And this is really important to sell the effect. I like, I like it, I like it. I'm just gonna play this real quick. Of course, in a lower quality, so we'll play back. So it will play back smoothly. Okay, I really like this. I really like where we're going. Now, of course, what we do also need to do is add a bit of rotation. So just press R for rotation and set a keyframe then drag this out and then maybe move it a bit it doesn't have to be much it doesn't have to be like a full turn uh, but just so there's a bit of movement in it basically you can drag this out a bit and then of course right click easy ease and it will even add a bit more dynamic motion to it that's really cool i'm gonna drag it a couple frames further back and then we're gonna animate the car. So as you can see, the car is already on the right position. We can just press P for position, set a keyframe, drag this out a couple frames, and then we can just move it from the right. So we do this by holding shift and dragging the first parameter. And I'm gonna right click on the last keyframe. I'm gonna easy ease it. And maybe what I'm gonna do, I'm not sure if this is gonna look cool, but that it goes a bit too far first. And we do this by just dragging this out a bit, making sure there's a bit more room here. And then I'm just gonna move it over a bit too far, basically like here. And of course, add motion blur to it. Uh, that's really gonna sell the effect. Basically clicks into place, right? So 
So something like this. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on our second shot. I'm gonna go into time, enable time remapping. And I think this second shot takes a bit too long. So I'm just gonna set a keyframe here to make sure that this point is basically the same. And I'm just gonna drag the last point a bit more towards the middle maybe even more quick. And then you will get something like this. Do keep sending me stuff and things that you want to see. I love seeing that. Also, just leave a comment if you want to see something specifically. You can also use this effect with different objects. You can just like throw an object into the frame. So now we're using a wheel, but you can also use something else round. And it can be such a cool transition also to add to your portfolio page. You can experiment with the video that I used in the description. Again, also check out my masterclass. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for watching. And then I'll see you next time. Bye.